Okay. We go now to John in Myrtle Beach. Hi, John. How are you? Great. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Doing good. What's up? I, I have a three-year-old pug of named Rudy living here in Myrtle Beach. And he's, he's in very good shape. He's a healthy specimen, uh, broad shoulders, uh, nice physique. However, I was wondering with all the pollen we've been getting, is that affecting my, my dog? Because uh, every morning he has uh, a large uh, amount of pus coming from his eyes. Mm-hmm. So I was just wondering if they're affected the way I am by the pollen. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, is there anything I can do about it? Just right out the storm. And I'd like to take your comments uh, while I'm offline. Okay. okay, that's fine. Sure, good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And that uh, that's a good question too. And, and yeah. yes, you know, pollen allergies can have an effect on us, and certainly can mm-hmm. have. You know, we you know we call things sometimes allergic conjunctivitis, things like that. Right. Um, and yes, it can. But you know, one of the things is that typically, if we have you know, as far as that goes, if we've got an increased discharge from the eye. If it's a watery, you know, that we think of as far as kind of clear, you know, tears, um, as it dries overnight, it may turn kind of a little, little crusty, crusty. you know, as far mm-hmm. as that goes. Sure. But it's not tan. It's not yellow. It's not green. It's not. It's not a colored discharge. Um, that's what you would think of if it was just allergy. Mm-hmm. If we're getting a, you know, a pus that, you know, and it's and it's tan. It's green. It's yellow. It's, you know, it's it's thick and nasty. Then there's more of a problem than just allergies as far as that goes. The other thing that you think about, too, when we think about certain breeds like pugs, pugs yeah. is, mm-hmm. uh, and some other breeds, is that the, the way their eyes are, they're brachiocephalic, and so they may have some issues as far as with all the wrinkles. They may have some irritation from some stray hairs or things like that. They're really prone to getting kind of this chronic corneal irritation and then some changes on the cornea. And secondarily, they may get you know excess tear production. And we think, well, that's, you know, would all be just super watery. Mm-hmm. But it turns out that, you know, it may not be the best quality tears. And so we get this really gunk, you know, mm-hmm. non lubricating tear film. And then it, you know, gets worse because then there's more irritation. And so right. it's, a, it's a very, uh, you know, problem that just gets worse and worse <laughs> and worse. Um, so if there's, a, you know, definitely if it's enough to bother you looking at, or mm-hmm. especially if it's a color, you know, you know, a color instead of a clear discharge, mm-hmm. then it's definitely worth getting checked out. Um, right. You know, we talked about earlier that, that geriatrics with older dogs, things change fast. Right. Eyes are another thing that change really fast, too. Yes. And you can go from having an eye that's pretty stable and, you know, just a little irritated to having a really, really bad ulcer or bad other, bad other problem, you know, in 24 to 36 hours. So it's, mm-hmm. it's really a good idea not to not to wait and see on eyes. It's yeah. better to get them checked out. Yeah.